Albert back with us now and some areas still seeing 70s at what, 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah, and even upper 70s tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, it was a hot one today. Yeah. Made it to 88 here in Chicago. We're going to cool it down a few degrees for tomorrow. We'll have a little bit more of a northerly wind. But I got 90 degree weather for you as we head into the weekend. So here's what we're tracking for you tonight. Like we've had all week long, cooler by the lake. So if you want to escape the heat, go to the lake shore where we'll have 70s again for tomorrow. Low 80s here in the city, but some mid to upper 80s inland a bit. And everyone's hot on Saturday. 90 degree weather, a little bit of a lake breeze. So right along the lake shore, a little bit cooler. And all that hot air is ahead of this, our next frontal system that comes in late Saturday night into Sunday, and that will be the focus for a couple of thunderstorms. Air quality alert remains in effect. We are in the orange even at 10 o'clock. That is unhealthy for sensitive groups with elevated amounts of air pollution that continues through tomorrow and even into Friday. Right now, that air quality alert until tomorrow night, but we think it's going to get extended into Friday. It is a warm evening. Yes, indeed. 73 degrees at Midway, 77 in Ottawa, 77 McHenry, but it's 69 degrees at the Loop. And overnight, temperatures fall into the 60s everywhere. Low 60s in the suburbs, but mid 60s here in Chicago to start the day for tomorrow. And again, we'll trim down the temperature at least a few degrees. 83 degrees in the city, mid 80s in the western suburbs, but cooler near the lake. 76 degrees, the high temperature at the Loop. Winnetka at 75, but Elmhurst at 85. Orland Park at 84, along with Frankfurt. 77 tomorrow afternoon in Gary. 71 in Burns Harbor with a due north wind right off of Lake Michigan. 85 on Friday, 90 on on Saturday, but notice the wind still off the lake. So a little bit of a lake confluence, a little cooler near the lake, and then the cold front approaches the area Saturday night into Sunday. That's going to be the window for some showers and thunderstorms. So here's one of the brand new timelines I wanted to show you. Keep your plans on Saturday. If you have outdoor plans, just plan on it being hot again in the 90s, and we'll have a heated to see just above that, about 91, 92. And the best chance of showers and thunderstorms looks to happen after midnight into the early morning hours on Sunday. So here's 9 a.m. with scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then the bulk of that rain we believe moves on out of here, but we'll be left with some isolated activity even as we head into Sunday evening. So looks like before lunchtime on Sunday, the best opportunity of rain, just some lingering showers afternoon and evening time. If you're hoping for a good downpour for the yard, well, we'll just have to hope a little bit more. It doesn't look like we're going to get a whole lot with that activity that goes Sunday into Monday, a tenth to about a quarter of an inch is as much as we can see on average. There's a few models that want to get us to about a third of an inch, but nothing hopeful when it comes to meaningful widespread downpours. So temperatures build tomorrow through Saturday. That chance of storm Sunday into Monday. A little cooler behind that front, though. I'm ready for that. Upper yeah. 70s Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Don't mind if it comes this way. Right. Thank you, Albert.